All right, people, here's your deck profile for Normal Pendulum. I know Daniel fucking Scrub Lord Scum scummed it up, and he took some fucking cancer meta shit, threw it in the deck to make it a little bit stronger, man. Fuck him. Fuck him, everything. Like, here's the deck. Uh, I don't know why this deck got put back on Daily Duels. Like, it was on Daily Duels previously, and I think they only got, like, maybe, like, one new card. So, like, okay, let's play it again. So, Normal Pendulum. It's not bad. I mean, it's the Pendulum mechanic, so it's already freaking great, and despite having no... Uh, monster effects, they do have some pretty decent pendulum effects, so, uh, overall not a terrible deck. I'd, I'd easily say it's like a tier 3 deck. You can take this deck down to your local's normal pendulum and kick the shit out of, you know, your local's possibly, depending on, you know, what's down there. You know, if it's not too meta, yeah, I could see you potentially doing something. Especially when you throw in some straight up good-ass cancer like I have, right? So let's get into it, so... Well, just like last time, we ran three of our Lance for... Hinchus? Lance for Hinchus? Oh my god. Konami, you need to stop. <laughs> uh, he's pretty decent. You know, he's definitely one of the ones that you run around. He's a little sick. Pendulum scale is 7, so his scale is nice and high. And if he's in the Pendulum scale, then your normal monsters get piercing damage. So that, that works well with another monster uh, in your Pendulum scale. And I mean, who doesn't want pierce damage? Like, if you're going to get free, free pierce damage if he's in your Pendulum scale, why not? And he's 2500. Tide Bear, sure, let's go. Alright, we run three uh, full fault cannons. Uh, this guy is decent. He's a pendulum scale 2, so, you know, I'm trying to keep our pendulum scale even, so we got some 7s, got some 2s, got some 7s, got some 2s, uh, uh, he's our 2, and, uh, his pendulum effect, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, you need to be careful, because, uh, during the end phase, this card is activated in your pendulum scale, you can target one spell or trap, face up spell or trap on the field and destroy it, so, if your opponent doesn't have any face up spells or traps on the field, don't activate it, because then you would be destroying one of your own pendulum scales, so, rip on that. But, uh, he's 2200, uh, he's level 5, so you got some rank 5 plays, overall not terrible. And without the new guy, this is probably one of the two new guys. One of them I'm running, the other one I'm not, because I just felt like he's not that great. There's that water one, the Sea Dragoons. But we got Sky Dragoons at Draconia. Uh, he's level 5, so more rank 5 plays. He's Pendulum Scale 7. And uh, his Pendulum Effect really helped out. This is a uh, big difference from the last time we played Normal Pendulum here in Daily Duel. Is that uh, once we turn when a normal monster inflicts damage to your opponent, you can target one card on the field and pop it. So it sucks that he's Scale 7 and then he's Scale 7 too, because it'd be nice if he was like 2 and he was like 7. So so you'd have ones and it's like, oh, you inflict pierce damage and then you inflict damage to pop a card, but, I mean, it's still fine. So, your, your opponent doesn't want you to attack them directly, because you, uh, if you get that direct attack on a normal monster, you get to pop one of their cards on the field. Cards, not monsters, cards. So, it's pretty good. And 2200 is nothing to scoff at, once again, same thing with cannon. Alright, of course, just like last time you run three Dracoons of Draconia, he's definitely one of the fours that you want to play. So, um... His Pendulum Scale is really good, that uh, once we turn up a normal monster, destroys post monster by battle after damage calculation, you add a level 4 or higher normal monster. So, I kill one of your monsters, you neg because I killed one of your monsters, why well, I get to plus, because I get to search, so awesome. And uh, he's nothing to scoff at, level 4, 1800 attack. Uh, he's Beast Warrior, so I guess that you could throw in Tenki if you want to, but I didn't really have room. I'm also not running, um, uh, what am I not running? I'm not running... Fossil Dig? Yeah, Fossil Dig could grab him, but it can only grab him, and then Tenki could grab him, and, uh, but we do have a card that can grab a lot of them, but, yeah. So, if, if you tell me he's, he's good enough, yeah, you can run Tenki and get the search on. Uh, the only reason I'm running this is because number generator, and as you can clearly see, uh, uh, it was kind of a last second thought. I just kind of threw it in there just to make a 40 card deck, so. Uh, we run three Flash Knight, I mean, he's, he was in the, the European Nationals top tier deck, right? So, I mean, not terrible, not terrible. 1800 beater, uh, Pendulum Scale 7, so once again, you know, 7-2, 7-2, 7-2. He doesn't have an effect, he's, just a, he's really just a pinnacle, but no one Pendulum Monster, but he's 1800, he's a warrior, he's level 4, so he gets to shoot Rota, and uh, why not, really? <laughs> and then uh, Mandragon, he's 2500, level 5, so, you know, fine stats. A normal Pendulum, both ends, no Pendulum effect, nor scale, but uh, no effect, but... He's told totally me to summon to be a pendulum beater because that's what you can do in normal pendulum. I can set up my scale pendulum on a whole bunch of beaters and attack the shell. You kill my monsters, throw a geki at me or whatever, I'll just pendulum summon them back. You know, kick the shell, you see more. It's a really resilient deck just because of the pendulum mechanic. So. And then we have the straight up cancer because uh, it wouldn't be here. I mean, the pendulum deck. I'm running triple Keating and I'm running triple Bunkaboo because. Yeah, if I'm going to run normal pendulum and I'm not going to have much defensive on end because my pendulum scales are kind of bleh because, they, you know, they're normal monsters and their pendulum scales are eh, I'm going to throw in some Keating and then have straight up cancer because Keating wins duels. Like, 
And people are like, oh, yeah, we got, you know, Limit Keen. I'm like, if you Limit Keen, I'm just going to run Triple Bunkaboo and I'm still going to fuck the shit out of you in that bars, you know? So, uh, I think Keenan would probably have to be banned. Like, if we're, we're going to do something to the extreme, we're going to have to ban Keenan. Or you're going to have to limit Keenan and limit Bunkaboo, but then that hurts my perspectives even more. Um, I don't think that they're going to. I know some people are commenting on my ban list prediction. They're like, oh, what? You didn't say Keenan? The reason why I didn't say Keenan is because I don't predict that Konami's going to. Do it. It's a prediction as one I'm predicting Konami is going to do, not a wish list. You know, and I, if I was Konami, what I would probably do, I'd probably just ban Keating. You know, you can have your three fucking bumpy, you can have your Magic Spectre, but you can't have this cancer as that Keating. This card's cancer, you know, especially in other people's hands, and I know it's a casualty, but, uh, you know, but if you're really looking, we saw a little bit of New Perry, uh, in American National, a little bit in European Nationals, but, you know, especially with Cosmos. Uh, if you don't hit Dark Destroyer, then I guess they don't deem it as too much of a problem, uh, especially when they pr and promote Blue Eyes, and they want, and you can just be like, well, you know, if you have a problem with Keating, you can always run Blue Eyes and run Chaos Max, da 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 da, -da make us money. So, yeah, that's a thing. And um, as you clearly saw at uh, Worlds, it didn't do too much. Like, uh, I don't think I saw too much of Keating. It was more of a Magic Spectres, but not too much of just Keating, like, Keating Keating. So, I don't think Konami's probably going to hit it. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, it either has to be Keating Ban or Keating Limited, Bunkaboo Limited, because you can't just put Keating down to one, because then you're just from Trick Bunkaboo, and you only need one Keating. You get that one Keating, and you're fucked, so, yeah. So, yep, straight up, Cancer, and get the Keating, get the Bunkaboo, search it out, and Pendulum Summon it, and then win. Especially in pack. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, we're on Triple Painful Decision, because this card's so good. I just send a level four, uh, lower normal monster from my to hand to add, so it's pretty much like a searcher card at three, so why not, Yeah. Uh, we run Triple Summoner's Art because we do have some monsters that are low fire higher than normal monsters, so I can just search you, 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 so it's just great. Twin Twister, Triple Limit, pop the back row, and then go in. Uh, like I said, run for the Sam Regeki because, uh, why not? It's Regeki Upstart because, so why not? This is the last, last second thing. I actually took out Polly and put this in. Your friends are probably running, like, you're running Normal Pendulum, how come you're not running First Dragons? Because I was sick and tired, especially when it was that one. I kept drawing it, and then I didn't have a chance to play it, you know? You're probably running Why Polly over, um, uh, what's the one where it's the monsters, the cards on the field, and then I get to return and then draw a card. I forgot the name of it, but, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Why not that over Polly? The reason why that is because if I can't have my Pendulum Scale set up to summon the monsters, then the card is dead because the monsters have to be on the field. Why Polly? I mean, even if I take a neg and I fuse from my hand, at least I get my first third dragon, so that's why I let Polly over uh, that card, but then the end, I was like, I kept drawing it, cause especially because there's that one in number generator, and it'd be dead as hell, so I'm like, fuck it, I'll just take it out. I'd have drawn an upstart, I'll give him a thousand and draw to my next card and try to do some plays and just dead draw on the poly, especially when my scales and my hand's not appropriate, so. And then the Summon Brigade, because why the fuck not? Um, I guess if you don't, if you want to go with more aggressive version, you don't want to go with the Summon Brigade, even though the Summon Brigade is just like fucking ridiculous, uh, you could take these out, maybe run like Triple Tanky or something like that, so. Get this, because this card's kind of important, too. Like, if you're going to go out, maybe, like, double tanky and, like, double uh, fossil dig, because these two monsters are kind of important. Like, these these two will be, like, your main normal pendulum, so maybe two tanky and two of this instead of the Song Brigade. If you don't want a back row version, if you want more aggressive version. And we run one soda because this guy, big guy, which I don't believe there's any sevens, so I don't know. I think there were some sevens, but I think I took it out, or maybe I was mistaken. Like, like you get the fuck out of here, I can't make big eye. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so bad, like, I can't even make big eye. Like, no, that's not, highest is six. Like, you're six too, so. Uh, Volcasaurus, uh, Sky Charger in there? Yeah, he's right here. Sky Dragon, Thunder Charger, and Utopia Beyond, because he's good. Uh, Frock Fortress, go for game. Zemayo. I guess I can put that one, uh, I think it was like number 24, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, number 24. Throw him in there because he's good. Zemayo. Uh, Short on Strike, Bouncer, Dweller, Emerald Castell, Dark Rebellion, Toby, Toby Lightning, and then because I have Bunk Clear just in case. Uh, Break Sword. Just in case that situation ever comes up, I have it. So. Uh, pretty much the extra deck is just a toolbox contingency for every single uh, level one start in my deck if I need to do some rank f uh, some rank plays. Uh, while well, it would be kind of a deck because I would detach and I would go to the graveyard, I mean, like I said, they're just contingency, so there you go. Anyway, people, we are done it here. 
So I said, I did straight up cancer to the normal pendulum. I really did. But uh, it was fine anyway. Like, I, I can't believe that normal pendulum got another month. It's just like, it's literally the same fucking deck. Like, nothing's changed. It got two new cards, and I'm only playing one of the new cards. But I guess last time I didn't really play Keating and Bunkaboo, so rip. Uh, oh, wait, I remember. I remember why Big Eye was in here. The reason why Big Eye was in here is because I was actually running Apex Avion because I thought I could do Apex Avion and Kirin. But my pendulum skills don't go high enough. It don't go to seven. So then I took it out Apex Avion because I'm a fucking idiot. And I was like, I can't summon Apex Avion. And then I left Big Eye. Big guy in there. There you go. That's that's the reason. All right. Nah, nah, yeah. I was like, why the fuck is the big guy in here? Like, there's definitely no sevens. There you go. Anyway, uh, be sure to watch the edition of Daily Duels that you're getting today. So, in place of this is sort of another pendulum based deck. We have Mechlord Deathbots. I. Mech Lords are fucking straight up trash, and I don't know why. Like, Deathbots, sure. You know, I never got an opportunity to play Deathbot 9, and they got a couple new cards, and maybe we can do something like that. Sure, it's really aggressive. I can do a lot of damage. But Mech Lords? Like, okay. I mean, at least it's a tag deck, so if I do bust out, like, the Mech Lords, that's like half my opponent's life points, it'll be like 8,000, so that's pretty good. Or the half my life points. I don't remember. It's one of the two. So at least it'll be really strong, but outside of that, Mech Lords are just straight up trash. Throw them in with death spots because why the fuck not? So, yeah, that should be fun. You know, I mean, no offense, but I'm so glad that David Dole is so co close to over because you guys suggest and, and vote for some of the most cancerous ass shit. So, yep. <laughs> yeah, you guys vote for like, like, really? No. But I, I should know. You know, I try to put some fun shit, but you guys are just like, alright, alright. Anyway. Uh, I apologize for the, the Discord thing. People are messing me on Discord. I go and do not disturb on Skype, but I completely figured it out on Discord, so rip. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Rose. Well, deck profile, like I said, we'll be doing deck profiles all this week because none of the decks in the previous month stays for this month, and you'll be getting daily, double Daily Rose with the decks, uh, replacing them. Thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.